हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज उदय पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एम ई पी टेक्निकल वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट बेसिकली हाउ टू डू पावर वायरिंग ऑफ स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्ट दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू आर नॉट एट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो हिट द बेल आइकन सो यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग माई अपकमिंग वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट सो बेसिकली स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर इज अ मोटर स्टार्टर डिफेज इंडक्शन मोटर स्टार्टर जनरली इट इज यूज एव फाइव एच पी मोटर रेटिंग ओके और अप टू और फाइव एच ओके एंड मोर देन फाइव एच इफ वी हैव अ मोटर हैविंग रेटिंग फाइव एच पी और मोर देन दैट इन दैट केस वी गो फॉर स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर ओके सो बिलो देन दैट वी गो फॉर डी ओ एल स्टार्टर सो वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट डी ओ एल स्टार्टर इन प्रीवियस पीट सो आई एल गिव इन द लिंक इन दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो प्लीज चेक आउट टू नो मोर अबाउट डी ओ एल स्टार्टर ओके सो हेयर बेसिकली वाट इज द एडवांटेजेज ऑफ स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर ऑन टॉप ऑफ डी ओ एल स्टार्टर बेसिकली वाई वी यूज स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर एज यू नो दैट वेन वी स्टार्ट द थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर एट इनिशियल टाइम बेसिकली वाट हैपन it draws the current 5 to 6 times of rated current if the motor having rating 10 ampere suppose at initial it will draw near about 60 ampere at initial so this is called inverse current so due to this current our motor circuit or our motor winding might be burned so that's why in higher rating motor in higher capacity motor generally we use a star delta starter what is the use of a star delta starter so it will reduce a star delta starter is a type of reduce the voltage starter generally what it does it reduce the voltage in a star condition so if we reduce the voltage it means it will reduce the initial current so we use it to reduce the starting current of the motor without any external device so simply we can say this starter is used to reduce the inverse current means initial current okay that's why initially we operate uh, the motor in a star connection and later we'll convert to the delta okay so starting current reduced to 1 by 3 of direct online starting current okay so simply you can say this starter is used to control the initial current okay so now move to wiring so basically this is the uh, view of uh, star delta starter here we have a push buttons start and stop okay and these are the indicators phase monitoring uh, three phase monitoring indicator r y b okay and this is the emitter which is used to measure the current of each phase and this is the voltmeter which is used to measure the voltage of each phase okay and this is the indicator actually okay start or on off to monitor the on off whether our motor is in running condition or stop condition okay so internal if we look inside in to this panel it will have uh, three contactor one main and one star and one delta and mcb and olr and uh, one timer of oh, on delay timer okay so now finally let's move to the wire so this is the power wiring power wiring of star delta starter so this is the sl single line diagram okay we can say power drawing of the star delta starter so here we have a bus bars okay so r y b three phase bus bar okay r y b okay and uh, here we have a main incomer before uh, start the connections of power wiring basically we have to first read the drawing okay then we'll move to the connection so this should be this will be more clear okay so first let's understand this drawing then we'll move to the physical connection so uh, here we have a tp mcb okay main incomer triple pole mcb then we have a contactor this is the main contactor and this is the delta contactor okay and this is the star contact okay these are the symbols okay and this is the olr overload relay thermal overload relay and here we have a three phase induction motor okay and these are the terminals of the three phase induction motor u1 b1 w1 and uh, uh, w2 u2 and b2 okay so these are the general components of star delta starter okay so uh, if you look into the wiring so here we have a r y b three phase is coming and connected it to the 
input terminal of this MCB okay and from the output of this uh, MCB it, it goes to the input of this main contactor okay so this is the main contactor and from the output of this main contactor it is going to input of this OLR so basically OLR di directly inserted into this output terminal of this main contactor okay so here I have uh, shown in uh, like a RYB phase but it is actually inserted into this output terminal of this main contactor okay now from the output of this OLR now we are going to connect it to the motor terminal so here uh, for three phase induction method uh, there are six terminals because uh, it has a three windings like in this way okay so one terminals has name like a un v1 and wn similarly other terminal is u2 and v2 and w2 so in this fashion basically arrange but in actual condition so this is the scenario in this fashion actually if you look into the motor terminals uh, in this fashion you will find so here u1 u v1 and v2 so u1 next terminal will get to over here below the first okay then v1 terminal will over here v2 okay and w1 will be here first one okay so in this scenario you will find the terminal okay in this is the one phase winding terminal so the terminal first terminal and this is second terminal and v1 uh, like uh, this and w1 like uh, this okay so here simply what we have done at u1 we have connected r phase at v1 we have connected y phase and at w1 we have connected blue phase from the output of this olr okay now come to over here delta side so where uh, here what we have done from the input of this mon this this main contactor we have taken wire r and connected it to the input and y connected it to the input and b connected it to the input okay now from the output of this we have to connect it to the other terminal of this motor okay so what we have always remember we should not give the same phase of other terminals here suppose here we have connected r phase so at other terminals of this winding we will not give the r phase okay will give the another phase instead of r phase okay we have we must remember this one so here what we are doing we are giving it u to y phase okay so here at first terminal u n this is r and at u to terminal this is y so it doesn't have a same phase at one terminal it get r and at another terminal it get y phase okay in delta condition similarly for uh, v1 so this one v2 similarly will not connect y phase at v2 that's why we connect blue phase over here blue blue okay and another is w1 so w1 here is blue so we will not give the blue phase to at w2 that's why we give, we have connected w2 okay so this is the connection of delta okay into end like here okay and now in this drawing here we have a delta contactor sorry this is delta and this is a star so this is the star connection so for that let's take the uh, wire from the output of this delta contactor so this is r and this is y and this b okay and from the output of this let's make it short so this will become delta okay if you sort the one end of all phase it will be in delta connects uh, sorry star connection now finally come to the physical connection so for physical connection we have to arrange some uh, breakers and uh, starters so for first we have taken four pole tpn breaker which is main incomer of the star delta starter pack okay and this is the main sub incomer for the starter each starter and this is the main contactor and this is the delta contactor and this is the star contactor and here we have a olr overload relay and this is the motor and it has a terminal u1 v1 w1 similarly w2 u2 and w2 okay 
and now to start the wiring let's take a r phase y phase p phase and n phase sorry neutral so this is connected over here at input terminal of this main incomer and from the output of this it will connect to the boss bar r y and b and neutral okay now from the uh, bus bar it's connected to the input terminal of this tpmc which is main incomer of the starter panel okay individual starter panel so here have connected three phase r y b now from the output of this mcb uh, let's take a r y b and connect it to the input of this main contact and from the output output of this main contactor it is connected to the olr so directly this pin is uh, inserted into this output terminal of this main contactor okay now from the output of this olr it is connected to the un terminal r phase is connected to un and uh, y is connected to p1 and uh, w is connected to wn okay now come to now come to delta connect so for delta connection let's take a wire r and connect it to the input terminal of this delta contactor similarly y and b okay now here we have to uh, during the connection we have to think about here so we always remember that so this is the u1 and this is the u2 this is the wire winding terminal in this fashion basically arranged in the motor terminals we always found like this u1 u1 and w1 so so u1 is at middle side u, u1 means u2 at middle side v1 means downside v2 and w is at upper side so in this fashion you will get you will not get a like a same like u1 and u1 u2 and v1 and v2 and v3 sorry u3 and uh, w1 and w in this fashion you will not get okay if you want to more clear about motor uh, winding terminals uh, we have to check the continuity so if we found uh, the continuity between this wire and this wire it means it has a uh, this terminal uh, this winding terminal is this one second terminal so in this way we all uh, we can also find the so simply what we have to do we will never connect the same phase on another side so suppose this is the uh, so this is the uh, un winding terminal and the other side is u2 so if we connect it over here r we will not connect to other end side also r will give it to other phase okay so we must have to remember this one so here we have connected r at uh, now u2 terminal we have connected y phase similarly for v1 so this is the v2 so v1 is already connected with y phase so v2 is v2 will not connected with uh, y phase so it will give it will connected with other phase so here we have connected with blue phase okay now so wn is connected with blue phase blue phase so this will also not w2 is also not connected with uh, blue phase so it will connected with red okay so in this fashion we can connect the motor terminal in delta condition okay now similar for star connection so here what we have to what we have to do we have to connect the from here output of this delta connection let's take a wire r phase and y phase and connect it to the output terminal of this one and we have to uh, from input side we have to make a sort okay so in this way we can make the uh, star delta connection now here during the connection we can also uh, monitor here over here so here we have a given r phase so similarly let's give a r okay here we have a give, given w similarly same same size same y and similarly over here b so in this fashion we all we can also remember during the connection but make sure with the multimeter that would be better okay so always remember that we will never connect same phase on same winding terminal so if we connect over here at this end r phase will not connect over here r phase we will give it y or either p phase okay so this we have to remember during the delta connection okay so hope you guys understand about power wiring of star delta starter so this is the way we can do the power wiring of a star delta starter okay so this is the internal view of the star delta panel so here we have a main contactor and a star and sorry this is the delta and this is the del a star and this is the on delay timer okay so we'll discuss it in when we uh, in next video during the control wiring of this star delta starter okay and uh, here we have uh, two terminals so this will two pair will goes to the 
two pair cable wheel goes to the one from main contactor and one from delta side delta and start side it will reach to the two pair of cable to the motor turn so where we can connect it the motor terminals okay so thank you for watching this video so please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video